Today we need to get into V at a soccer game and what this was about. We need to talk about Wushik's brother posting something on Instagram that got people very shocked. And then we have a holding hand picture that went viral. So don't leave the Dave to say hate or not. Make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on and make sure you join us fangirling on Patreon and let's go. Every now and then the community will bring up an old photo that was viral back then and has now resurfaced and gone viral again. People like to talk about this photo and how much it makes them happy. These photos never die, they kind of disappear for a little bit and then they come back again every time more things trigger a memory that reminds them of this. So what is the memory and what is this the photo of? Well not too long ago there was a moment in which V and Jungkook were at a movie premiere before they enlisted. This was not only one of the last times that they were kind of seen together. It was one of the last times that they were out at a red carpet before they had to enlist, or at least people thought they were going to enlist shortly after, but it actually took them a few months or so after that before they enlisted. Now, it was a specific moment in which I believe it was just V that was supposed to go, and I think V invited a plus one, and that plus one happened to be Jungkook. This is not unheard of. When you get invited to a movie premiere, they typically do allow you to bring a plus one unless there's extremely limited spots. But for someone as famous as V, they're going to be very excited that he decided to bring someone along because said person would probably be very famous as well. Of course, I mean the event organizers or the people that created the movie. In the moment in which V came out, people believed that he was holding hands with Jungkook right before they entered the red carpet. So literally seconds before he entered the red carpet, it was believed that he had just let go of Jungkook's hand. And of course, this is speculation. And in the video, I can see where they're getting that speculation from because of course it's speculation because we don't ever see a video seconds before to show what actually happened. And if it was just two people walking and one person happened to be slightly in front and the specific angle made it look like their hands were intertwined, but in reality they were not. Now, every time a new moments came out where people think it proves that V and Jungkook are dating or proves the brotherhood of the two people, people like to bring up this moment along with many other moments to show that there are other cute moments that have happened before. And so of course, anytime that happens, this moment goes reviral again. But I think these moments are really cute and it really shows that the community comes together in times like this and likes to revive old moments that have come out. And it sort of keeps the community going in times like this where the members are not as active because it re-reminds the community of these cute moments. And guess what? The community then goes back and re-watches those old moments and relives those old moments. And honestly, a celebrity couldn't hope for a better community that would always and constantly love to watch and re-watch their old stuff. Because I think a lot of celebrities and a lot of people who make art and who are getting somewhat well known are always anxious that the stuff that they're going to make are going to become irrelevant or outdated very soon and people aren't going to be interested anymore. Which of course just isn't a fear that the BTS members have to have because there is always going to be someone that is very interested in some of the tiniest things that they've done. Recently we've seen V at a soccer game and this was actually very shocking because I think a lot of people weren't expecting to see him do anything after being enlisted. So what happened here? So what happened here was I think that V had a little bit of a break and he was able to go to a soccer game and I think this was a part of the military. It is called the K League so I'm assuming that this was something that the military had put on or something that would represent the pride of the nation. And I say this as I assume it was pretty much obligated for him to go. It really probably wasn't that he had much of a choice. People were of course very shocked to see him there because this is the first time that they've seen him at a public appearance in such a long time that there were cameras and people taking photos and really sharing photos of him. There was even a person who complimented how visually pleasing V looked sitting there in the stand. They mentioned how shocked they were to see someone who was so attractive in the stand and it turns out it was V. Now this is very interesting because we can tell that even if the BTS members were not famous and were not celebrities, they would still find their way to fame just at how attractive they are. So imagine this, the members are not famous, they end up enlisting with a bunch of people, start photographing some photos from the military and they start to notice that there was a specific person that was just very, very attractive. The photos go online, the internet freaks out and says, oh my god, there's such an attractive person in the military. Who is this person? And this person will get famous anyway. In fact, this is such a possibility that one of the times that the BTS members got their biggest break, it was Jin, and he went viral for how attractive he looked. And this was just like at the start of their career. That's what kind of pushed them into a little bit more of success. Now, he was also well out in the public, and he was being recorded and documented pretty extensively. Now, V was also well out in the public, and he was being documented pretty 
extensively. So there was a lot of concern as to whether he was going to be okay and if he was in danger because there's a lot of stalkers that could potentially have been aware of the event and could have potentially been aware enough to have stalked him. This is of course not anything that wouldn't happen. This has happened before with the members and it's pretty common with K-pop idols, unfortunately. However, one thing that I can say positively is that all the members of the military were all in their outfit and also V was as well, meaning that they were likely armed and anyone who'd attempt to attack him or attack anyone in the vicinity is going to get a face full of bullets. I think it's okay to worry about your favorite celebrity and their safety, but it's definitely not healthy and not great to constantly worry so much that anytime they make an appearance is a concern as to whether or not they are safe. And I think at the end of the day, the members can also handle themselves and will be okay in situations like this, especially when there's so many people. And any fan or any person or stalker that comes to try to attack them, V is more than capable at this point to be able to fight himself. Should he have to? Absolutely not. But this is the world that we live in and people are absolutely crazy. People are so crazy that we actually have V's closest friend Wushik and his brother apparently leak something that got the internet freaking out. So what happened and what is going on? So if you're not aware, V has a group of actor friends that he pretty much almost ex exclusively hangs out with when he is not with BTS. He names them the Wuga Squad and we obviously know this already. We Well, apparently there was a moment in which V and the Wuga Squad, and I guess one of the members in the squad named Wushik's brother, went to the hotel and recorded V as well as everyone else and posted this on the Instagram story. Now the post apparently shows V and Jungkook together hanging out and people were freaking out about this so much. There's ongoing rumors that when the boys have free time, V and Jungkook would spend time together because those two are the closest and people feel like this photo then proves that. It wasn't long after this did Wushik's brother allegedly delete the photo from his Instagram and people felt like this was actually way more suspicious. And I can totally understand why because why delete something if there's nothing to hide especially since there's a lot of people talking about it. Deleting it would only bring more attention to it. But one thing we have to remember here is that deleting a post has several meanings to it. One of the meanings that I think is what caused the deleting is just that they were tired of the backlash because while there are going to be groups of people happy that this post was made, other people are going to be mad that this side of the community was even being fed and then some of those people were likely sending threats asking for the photo to be removed. Knowing how K-pop is and how people get with K-pop, it's actually not surprising that these things get deleted. It's not always to hide something but just could be because you get harassed for anything and if Wushik's brother wants to be a public figure himself or doesn't ever want to be, he may not want these comments or backlash to follow him around. And plus even if the two were together and hanging out in a photo, how does this really mean anything? Of course the two members are going to hang out and have fun. That's just what two people who are close to each other do and two people who are in the same label and band would do. Wushik's brother probably genuinely thought this was such an innocent photo and then it turned into something like this and thus another reason he could have deleted it as well as he may not want to deal with the community that may be writing things like this about both V and Jungkook. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for videos. I'll link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.